Hello everyone, myself Mr. Pritish Chitte, working as an assistant professor in mechanical engineering department from Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today we are discussing the first session of the course 3D printing. In that we are discussing the relationship between industry 4.0 and additive manufacturing. The another name for the 3D printing is also called as additive manufacturing. What are the learning outcomes? The students will be able to explain the overview between industry 4.0 and additive manufacturing. Definitely we can say that industry 4.0 consists of additive manufacturing. But what are the different components of industry 4.0? How they are related to the additive manufacturing, we will see in the next slide. So these are the content that we are discussing like what is meant by industry 4.0 and what is meant by additive manufacturing and realization of industry 4.0 from industry 4.0 to industry 4.0. Or this is the overview of industry 4.0 which consists of different technologies like it consists of cloud computing, it consists of big data analysis, it consists of IoT that is Internet of Things. Now it, is, it also consists of I square IT, it consists of RFID technologies, cognitive computing, which is mainly the related to the computing technologies, but also with respect to the mechanical field, it consists of the two main components like advanced robotics, which is a main material handling system component. Now all these components, all these technologies are, are correlated. For example, maybe the IoT is correlated to the 3D printing. After that, the big data or maybe the huge data that we can provide it to the robotics. Now mainly which consists of 3D printing. Additive manufacturing is also called as 3D printing or which is also called as rapid prototyping. The meaning will be same. There will be another diagram or the picture which is regarding industry 4.0 where the data is driven by the industry 4.0 which consists of the different technologies. Mainly it consists of the 3D printing which consists of the, the huge data that is driven through the manufacturing with the help of different components of industry 4.0 like artificial intelligence, internet of things, database management system, cloud computing, etc. Now we will see the evaluation of industry 1.0 to 4.0. Now mainly in 1784, there is a development of industry 1.0. In 1870, there is a development of industry 2.0. Mainly there is a development of steam power engine in the industry 1.0. There is a use of mass production in the industry 2.0 with the help of different CNC machine tools. In industry 3.0, approximately in 1969 there is a use of automation industrial automation i will not say only the automation like industrial automation which will be the part of industry 3.0 it consists of different cnc machine tools different material handling system components flexible manufacturing system computer integrated manufacturing all these components which will be the part of industry 3.0 now now we are in the process of industry 4.0, we are in the world of industry 4.0 where there is a combination of the mechanical and computer and electronics things that is using so that the most of the work that we can complete in very less time with the help of the data analyst, artificial intelligence, 
क्लाउड कॉम्पिटिंग इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स मशीन लर्निंग एंड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द मैकेनिकल फील्ड कॉम्पोनेंट्स लाइक मेकाट्रॉनिक्स कॉम्पिटेटेड डिजाइन थ्री डी प्रिंटिंग येस ऑल दीज कॉम्पोनेंट्स वी कैन यूज इट इन इंडस्ट्री फोर पॉइंट जीरो नाउ डेज देर इज अ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंडस्ट्री फाइव पॉइंट जीरो एंड विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज इंडस्ट्री फिफ्टी सिक्स नाउ विद द हेल्प ऑफ सम एनिमेशन और मे बी द सिम्युलेशन वी कैन डिस्कस वॉट इज मीन बाय इंडस्ट्री फोर पॉइंट जीरो फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट जीरो टू फोर पॉइंट जीरो वॉट इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ इंडस्ट्री वन पॉइंट जीरो कंसिस्ट ऑफ मेनली द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ स्टीम पावर इंजिन आफ्टर दैट इन द इंडस्ट्री टू पॉइंट जीरो विच इज मेनली मेड फॉर द मास प्रोडक्शन यू कैन सी द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फोर व्हीलर्स दैट इज डेवलप which will be the part of mass production different types of cnc machine tools we can use to develop these components in industry 3.0 with the help of single computer system with the help of different material handling system components we can develop different types of products components different types of sensors we can use but mainly in the industry 4.0 that is the world of we can call that as wireless or we can call that as wifi only one we can call that as a one employee the one user can handle a many system and the efficient product that we can provide with respect to the customer satisfaction now you can see different types of material handling system components and a single system that is used and that is a part of industry 4.0 and the definitely the cloud computing will play a vital role in the industry 4.0 after that now definitely in the industry 4.0 if we compare to the additive manufacturing now always we are saying that the customer should satisfy with respect to the product but there is another word which is called as customer delight always the companies are working for customer delight in day to day life the there is a change in the behavior of the customer with respect to that the company should work how we can approach to the customer delight how the companies can achieve the customer delight there is only one answer just i will use the pointer here there is only one word with the help of that the company can achieve the customer delight that is innovative thinking or thinking out of the box or the creative thinking if suppose the company is thinking some of the out of the thing and the product that can be developed in very less time and whenever the dev, the customer is using that particular product yes the customer is having some delight the customer is happy we can say that the customer is satisfied whenever the product or maybe the service that is used by the customer yes we can call that the customer is delight the type of the production system there are mainly three types of production system mass production batch production and job shop production in the mass production we can develop the large amount of products not only that the similar products we can develop with the help of cnc machine tools the similar machine tools that we can use it to develop the similar components there will not be any change in we can call it as the sequence of cutting operations different types of machine tools only the single type of machine tools that we can use it in the mass production in the batch production there will be a little bit variation whenever we are comparing to the mass production a little bit we can call it as variation in the a product for example maybe there is a change in the dimension maybe there is a change in the maybe called as the surface finish or the sequence of cutting operation but 
whenever we can observe that particular product through the open eye, we can say that it is somewhat similar. But the dimensions may differ. For example, the clothing sector, that is the best example for the batch production. Mass production, the automobile components, that is the best example for the mass production. Job shop production, each and every product or the project will be different in the job shop production. A different types of machine tools, the sequence of cutting operations will be different in job shop production. The best example or the application for the job shop production that is Walchanagar industry. They are working on different types of projects like sugar industry projects or maybe the aerospace projects. After that, they are working on submarine gear boxes, etc. The smile curve, which is which will play a very important role in the additive manufacturing. Yes, you can see additive manufacturing, which only consists of the production system and we can call it as the design system. But with respect to the traditional manufacturing, it consists of marketing, services and the R&D part. The traditional manufacturing or the conventional manufacturing in that the R&D will play a very vital role. But in the advanced manufacturing process like ad, uh, added to manufacturing, yes, there will be the use of the logistic, the design will play a very vital role or the important role and definitely the production system. And in the next session, we will discuss what is meant by added to manufacturing. Just one question before concluding the session. What are the components of industry 4.0? Think about this question. We will discuss some of the processes which way we may think that this is equivalent to additive manufacturing. But these are not the types of the additive manufacturing processes. We will see in these all these operations or the process in the next session. These are the references. Thank you.